Hello everybody, it is Half Monty, and there we go, I was wondering if it actually had some sound, I thought I was <laughs> messing up my recording. This is Ninja Gaiden, um, here's the basic story of it, but uh, you can watch that, I'm gonna talk over it, um, the rest of the cutscenes I'm actually gonna do some voice acting on, so that'll be exciting. Anyway, um, this is gonna be the start of a new series, a uh, series I'm gonna be titling Journey. To MLG, because there are so many games like this one that I've actually I've still yet to beat this one. <laughs> it's just kind of gambling on the fact that I might be able to, um, so I can start off a series of this. Anyway, I'm not. I, I wouldn't definitely never put myself in the category of a serious let's player or a serious gamer because the fact that there are so many of these games like Ninja Gaiden One for the NES that I have not played and not beaten. Now, actually, I've played this now. Um, I, I've gotten through most of the stages. I've gotten to the last boss, but I've not beaten him. Um, <clears throat> I've not beaten the last boss yet. Uh, so I'm going to be playing like I know what I'm doing, just because I've been playing <laughs> the beginning level so many times. I, I have a, I play him on my tablet uh, with an emulator, so I do it at work. Anyway, here's this is Ryu Ryu Hayabusa. This game is, as you see, brought to you by Tecmo, back in the year that I was freaking born. And, um, Tecmo, it's one of those names you definitely know. It's not that many games that they actually are known for. Um, Dead or Alive. Oh, wow. Starting off good. Um, Dead or Alive, and, uh, Fatal Frame, actually. You may know that one. Um, that's it was big in Japan. Um, you had to take pictures of ghosts. I, it's supposed to be one of the scariest games like ever. And um, if anybody thinks that's a good game, let me know. I, I've, I've wanted to play it. I've never have. I think the graphics difference might uh, kill a little bit of the fear factor uh, from the time that it was released, though. Anyway, what I just got there, up at the top, under next to the timer. Um, at the top of the screen, that is the best ability in the freaking game. It it will pretty much one shot the bosses, pretty much any boss actually. Uh, for example, <laughs> here's the boss. Here's boss of area one one. Now I I like to hit him a few times just to make make sure that it's going to work. There you go. Oh, he had no help, but was still alive. That actually happens a couple of times. Get up the wall. I'm not very good at wall jumping. I'm gonna take a Batman approach here. It just seems fitting, alright? Just just go with it. Who are they? They seem to be following me. Who's there? Just a girl. Get out of here. I will. But first. What the I see the anesthetic is wearing off. Who are you? Shh. Don't make so much noise. I've got a favor to ask of you. Here, take this and escape. What is this? This the statue. There's no time to explain. Hurry. Hey, wait. H who are you? Didn't you try to kill me? Someone's coming. Be careful. Alright, and we're back to it. Um, with, uh, I did want to mention one more game because I'm, I would love to think about playing it, but I, I don't know. Um, another game made by Tecmo is, uh, Rygar, which is, a has an NES version. Um, but there's also a PlayStation version, PlayStation 2 version that came out. It's very God of War-esque, and, um, I love God of War to begin with, and so another game that is in that style, that is not that commonly heard of or played, I would definitely love to do that game, but, um, uh, 
have to get a capture card up, probably. <clears throat> because it's a little bit difficult to emulate that particular game. Um, this is, of course, on an emulator. I don't have an NES. <laughs> and, uh, that was a failed jump. Uh, there we go. Um, but anyway, if you couldn't tell, you play as a cheeky little, uh, ninja named Ryu. Hayabusa, I think I'm saying that correctly. I am it, by no means an expert at this game. Um, I know I'm making these first stages look easy. They are actually easy. And right about here is when the game starts to get shysty. Hopefully I can pull this off and, and uh, make this look easy too. Yeah, right there. It's not easy. You have to, have to time the jump perfectly in order to not get hit by the things that stupid bitch throws. Anyway. Die. Die. Okay, and this is actually a tough jump. You can't just fall down. You have to land on the ladder. Oof, that was close. Um, if you fall down, you'll die. I don't know why. Sometimes you'll fall down and go into the next screen and die in the next screen. And, uh, but that's a little clever little thing right there. If you're gonna play this game, get that. It just makes everything easier. That one little power-up that I got. Power-ups are always the same, they're not random. And this game is all just about memorizing. And that's one of the reasons it's okay to commentate with. Sometimes it's okay to commentate with. Okay, look at this. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> that's very easy to die right there. And then, again, we're gonna get this game-breaking item right here, the swirly. Because it just makes that easy, so much easier. <laughs> just to jump off of that thing. And then, I've collected enough energy that I'm just gonna abuse it. Kill another of these, uh, really hard to jump. Uh, oh, stay on the right side and you'll be fine there. And that's a trick. Um, I'll try to do it again. See, if you spawn him, and you go to the left side of this, he'll walk off the screen. And then you jump in the pit and you die. <sighs> okay. Actually, I was trying to show you a glitch there. You can do that a lot of times. If you get somebody to walk up the screen, they will despawn. And as long as you don't get the screen edge to uh, pop up wherever they spawn at, because everybody has specific spawn points, and they only spawn if they are at the uh, edge of the screen. Okay. This is not turning out that well. I should not have died at least once on this already. Like I said, I don't know, bro. Excuse me, black guy, you need to die. That's not racist. The green guys need to die, too. They look like football players. There we go. Now I got this. I got this. No, I don't. Oh, okay, you died. No, no. Oh, gosh. See, this is what I mean. And the, the timing is completely random on those guys. So, stay on the right side of here. He'll jump over you. You go to the left side. He'll walk off, and then you're at the boss. That's it. Not that hard. I just make it look harder than it is. Anyway, so this guy is super easy. You just hit him a bunch, and then back off. Whoops. Hit him a bunch, and then back off. And you have to be able to wall jump a little bit here. You gotta get high enough that he's not gonna hit you. Once you know this, he's, he's a super easy boss. I just noticed how weird he looks. He can actually take a hit, take a few hits. Because he only hurts you once. Very easy, boss. Jump up the wall. God, man. What is this bizarre statue, anyway? And who is that woman? As I grew more and more suspicious, I went off to look for that. Supposed acquaintance of my father's, Mr. Smith. Walter Smith. My name is Ryu. Ryu Hayabusa. Ooh, that sword. Of course, you must be Ken Hayabusa's son. In his last letter, my father told me I should see you. Last letter, I see. So it is already begun. Dot, dot, dot. Ken and I were on an expedition to some old Amazon ruins. We found a strange statue and a stone tablet, and on the tablet, it said, 
Wait a minute, you mean to tell me that statue? Yes, precisely. I thought it had been stolen. That demon statue possesses enough evil power to destroy an entire nation. The demon came to this earth and caused many deaths. But then Shinobi appeared to stop the demon. Shinobi borrowed the strength of the dragon and countered each of the demon spells and thus was able to overcome. Yet, though it was defeated, the demon was not dead. So, Shinobi could find the evil power of the demon in the two statues of light and shadow, and the body of the demon was confined in the tail. This one must be the shadow statue, therefore... And now I've got it, my friend. <laughs> what the? After him, Ryu. Alrighty, I think I'm actually gonna stop it here. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna stop it here. And I did want to mention though that uh, with those cutscenes, I, I really enjoyed them because this is actually Ninja Gaiden was one of the first games to feature the story presented in cutscenes, so that's why I'm going for all full stop, but I think I like, I might like doing this, we'll see if I do it on other games, but uh, I'll see you guys next time, and uh, it's been Ninja Gaiden, and catch you later, bye.